Hey Adam, my name is Justin and I'm a 22 year old liberty minded individual from the state of New York, aptly called the Empire State. Back in late 2010 we spoke over the phone about my interest in becoming a United States Marine and some of the philosophical problems that existed in making that decision as a libertarian and given our current state of affairs. I want to write you to tell you that I have chosen not to take that path and to thank you for taking the time you did to counsel me at a time when I did not have the experience to reconcile my convictions with confidence to my plans for the future. You provided me with a clarity I think was critical in realizing there are other ways I can serve my fellow man. I've since decided to serve with my local fire company instead. Justin, thank you so much. That's just really incredible feedback. And, you know, I mean, really taking me back to, to 2010, just, you know, and, and when I was doing a lot of conversations like this, and it's been a while, but I, I think a lot of people are able to get this hopefully from hearing this podcast, from seeing different videos and, and things that I've produced. And, you know, I, I always love getting feedback like this. It, it really is encouraging to, to help touch an individual's life and, and to help dispel the dangerous illusions that, that, that lure people into military service. Excuse me, there I go using one of them right there with the dangerous language service. Because, you know, as I found out, that the only people I was serving were the banksters and the war profiteers and the politicians who understand that war is the health of the state. I recently became aware of your arrest and incarceration, and at first I wasn't too worried, having spent much of my childhood institutionalized. However, I eventually remember the difficulties that come with being locked up. I see on your website you are in high spirits, and I am very happy to see that. I hope you continue to thrive no matter what the environment. I will, I promise. If there is any way I can be of assistance to you, either through monetary means or otherwise, I do intend to contribute to your legal fund. Please don't hesitate to ask. I know you are too modest to accept this, but I believe while wholeheartedly that a man of your strength, conviction, and integrity should and must be supported to that end, I am with you. Thank you again, Adam. You have made a measurable and significant difference. Your friend in liberty and humanity, Justin. Justin, thank you so much for writing, for sharing this, and I'm, I'm more than happy to accept your help at this particular time when my communications are limited and my organizational skills are stunted, and I'm really excited to have so many people that listen to this podcast get involved and help spread the message and help share this story. If you want to help with with that kind of outreach, uh, please get involved with uh, with our efforts by emailing Anthony at, at, at excuse me, Anthony Antonello at Anthony at Adam versus the man dot com. And you know, committing civil disobedience is intended to rouse the conscience of the community. And if you can't reach the community, it doesn't do any good. And if you're going with the mainstream media spin, it's not a whole lot better. So we really need all the help we can get getting this out as a positive message of standing up for freedom. So thank you so much, Justin. Really appreciate it. Finally, we're going to close with a letter from Jason Avity, which is addressed to Mr. Cooper. Dear Mr. Cooper, Esquire, that's my attorney, and you can reach him. And you can reach me by mailing him. Please find a copy of a letter I sent to Judge Patricia Broderick on behalf of your client, Adam Kokesh. I believe Mr. Kokesh has been illegally imprisoned. I hope that all charges will be dropped and that he will be released immediately. Sincerely, Jason Avery. So, dear Judge Broderick, I'm writing to you regarding the abusive treatment and unfair imprisonment of Adam Kokesh. He has been moved over 15 times and denied proper access to his attorney. He was not given adequate food and forced to sleep without a mattress. Several, several weeks ago, Mr. Kokush filmed himself loading a legally owned shotgun in Washington, D.C. I support Mr. Kokush in his act of civil disobedience. He was expressing his Second Amendment rights and threatened no one, though I do acknowledge that some may feel his act was provocative. During his arrest, Mr. Kokush says that the police planted drugs in his house. The officers damaged his home and did not allow other residents to use the restroom. So what was the motivation for Mr. Kokush to carry out this act of civil disobedience? Could there be an explanation? Our government has killed several million people in Iraq and Afghanistan. These wars are unconstitutional because Congress never officially voted on them. Our government tells us that we are fighting al-Qaeda in Iraq and Afghanistan. However, in Syria, our government is now giving aid to the three Syrian army whose members are from al-Qaeda. Might one conclude that this is a rather ironic contradiction? Over 100,000 people are now dead in Syria as a direct result of the CIA's support for the Syrian rebels. The country has been reduced to rubble. Who benefits from this? Did the people of America ask that Syria be destroyed? Absolutely no one is held accountable in our government. When we ask our government why the CIA and current administration are supporting the Syrian rebels, we are not given a cogent answer. Senators give answers such as, I'll have to get back to you on that. Or, we don't have information about what the CIA is doing. Well, if 
our government does not know what the CIA is doing, then why is it that our tax dollars fund their activities? Trillions of dollars were given to banks in the recent 2008 financial collapse. Yet when Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke was asked what was done with this bailout money, he refused to answer. It seems to me that our government wants us to pay taxes and then remain silent while they give the money to whoever they want. Rather than protect